Hello, everybody. Yep, I'm back. It's me. And this is the birthday edition. While I fiddle with the camera, my grands were in here, so the camera has been shifted just a tad, don't you know? Anyway, birthday edition. I was working on my three looks, one palette with the Elf J. Kissa to the rescue. And I did two absolutely gorgeous looks. One was in blues and greens. The other was in blues and purples. The problem is my camera is not good enough to keep the shades separated enough that you could actually tell. Um, you may get some random giggles and stuff. I've got the grandkids in here. Let me show you some of my stuff. The grandkids made me cards. Look at that. Made me cards. My grandson is addicted to Universal. <laughs> he thinks it's the best thing on the planet. And it's like, yeah, it's a pretty laid back kind of birthday. I mean, we're still. We've now got COVID cases in our little county, and they're going up. Plus, we're kind of in between some of the fire zones. If, for those of you who don't know, I live in southeast Oregon, better known as dang near Idaho. Um, there's a fire in Idaho, and there's a bunch over on the west coast of the state and a few that have come across the mountains, but we're still so close to Idaho. The Idaho fires are more likely to impact us than the actual Oregon fires. We are one of those places though, who just about a week ago, somebody was using fireworks during a drought. They were using fireworks to do a gender reveal. The brush fire was put out pretty quickly, thank goodness. Um, you kind of wonder what people are thinking, you know? And my little dog is now fussing. Why are we fussing? What? What are we fussing about? And I dropped the mouse. Because <clears throat> I was trying to figure out what the dog was fussing about. And I knocked it right off the arm of my chair. See, yeah, this is the problem with, like, having to redo things at the last minute. Anyway. I've mostly got my base on because all I did was take the micellar water and take off the eye look. I'll have to do a little repair here and there under the eyes and around the edges. For the second look, the second replacement look, or second look replacement, I don't know how to say it. Anyway, I figure... I'll just get started, since I've already got the base and stuff, I'll just get started and keep going. And depending on whether or not my grandkids are behaving, they might get a guest shot on screen. We'll see. Anyway, this is the Jay Kissa and Elf collaboration to the rescue. 
part of the money for this goes to animal rescue, mostly doggies, because Jay Kissa is a doggy person. But I like it. I liked the colors. I've seen some other reviews on it, and they were talking about, you know, some of it was real powdery, some of it didn't have a lot of payoff. And I'm going, okay, yeah. Some of it has not been the easiest thing to work with. But I haven't had too much fallout. At least no more than I've had on some of the other palettes I've had. And it just, I haven't had any real problem with having to worry about Tons of fallout. Haven't had to worry about, you know, not having a lot of payoff. Yes, the dingalingaling is the the bells on our little critter gate that tells us when the critters think they want in or out of a certain area. My son and his wife have two large puppies. And these puppies are both bigger than either one of my dogs, period. I don't know if you heard that or not. That was my grandson talking to his iPad. I don't know what he's watching. Anyway, he makes random noises now and again about different things. Especially when he's got his headset on. Now this is, this color is the kind of muddy, medium yellow tone called Paloma. I will have to go back through and see what I can figure out about which ones I used on the other looks. I didn't take notes. Well, I did on the blue and the green and the blue and the purple. For all the good it did me. Since they're now in the bin, you can't tell the colors apart. Anyway. Oh, he's got his bone. Then he has a, a chew bone. Well, it's a actual beef leg shank portion. And he gets so excited with this thing. Just absolutely over the moon excited with this thing that he just, he's over here going ah, 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 all over the bone. And I'm like, Come on now. Could we get a little control on this? I'm trying to decide if I want to put the greens in or if I want to put the blues in and then put the green under the eye. I hate being indecisive. Okay, pale blue called cannoli. Now, for anybody who has noticed that I've put that yellow pretty high up, I have hooded eyes, 
And if you want to keep your hooded eyes from disappearing all of your color, you have to do some workarounds. Now, one of the things you do, and there's a difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes, even though they both have a lot of the same problem. There's places where the skin of the eyelid rubs and you lose color, especially glitter. If you want the world's best tutorial on the difference between hooded eyes and deep set eyes, you need to go see Angie over at 4F Beauty. She's got a clip with the tutorial on it that she puts at the beginning of all of her, her vids. And it's gorgeous because she's got deep set eyes. Oh, I have the hooded eyes. So you can see, see where my eyes, the static lid literally folds right down and comes down to the eyelashes. That's the way it works. With deep set eyes, instead of folding down this way, the mobile and static lid both push in back this way. But you still, because of that, you get that rubbing thing going. So if you want to figure out how to deal with that particular issue, go check out Angie and her tutorial on the differences and the differences in the workaround. See, because when, when I started this look, I started by putting the yellow way up here and brought it down a little. As opposed to starting like, quote unquote, in the crease. I created a new crease that goes way up here. So far, so good. Let's see. I'm going to take the Thatcher blue. Come in down here. And start doing the outside portion of the lower lid. Drag it up a little bit though. The other thing about having to build up colors, I don't mind having to build up colors. It doesn't bother me. Now, if this was, say, a $125 Natasha Denona, I better not have to build up. But since I don't buy Natasha Denona, and this works just fine for me, and it works just fine for my budget, I'm not overly bothered. You know? I'm just not. It's just not my thing to be overly bothered. Do, 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 do. 
So how's everybody else out there in the YouTube land? Anybody else got anything going on? Happening? Irritating them? Now, according to some of the peeps who has this science mind kind of thing going, a lot of these um, fires, which if you look at the news reports, you can actually see where it kind of, some of them run right along some of the fault lines. And from the, it, for those of you who also don't know, lightning goes from the ground up. <laughs> I know what it looks like, but it does go from the ground up. Along the fault lines, when things are moving, you've got a lot of rocks grinding together. And you can get static electricity charges built up from that because you've got all manner of mineral going on and some of it is rock crystal and when you grind rock crystal together, you get static charges. So, they're going, yup, not only have we had some shaking going on, but it's causing other things. So, no, for those that are seriously crazed, about trying to blame a non-existent bunch of people because Antifa is not an organization. The anti-fascist people in the country are not running around starting these fires as a political statement. End of political rant for the day. I know, some of you don't mind. Some of you think it's like, oh, this was meant to be a nice little makeup channel. And it's like, excuse me, it was meant to be my channel. But there you go. So, yeah, it's not... The dreaded Antifa setting the fires. It just ain't. It's not how that works. First, it would have to be organized. Yes, I'm not talking much right this second. I'm trying to do this without making too much of a mess. So there. Now, oh, for anybody noticing my fingernails, I will have some up-close shots of them in the at the end of the video where I've got the pictures of the other looks. Yes, I do that on purpose. I make you watch. I'm evil. I'm rotten. It's all my fault. Not the best, not too bad. I may just take that 
light blue and just work it up over because that yellow really isn't doing me any favors way up there. And then, and then, I'm going to take some of the really, really bright green and go under there with it. It's not really bright, bright. It's just the lightest green. And then I'm going to take the green shimmer and go up under there too. Alrighty, put a little mascara here and there. Yep, got the mascara on the waterline again. Isn't that just precious? Okay, this is an e.l.f. pencil, and it's kind of just in an olive green. little liquid liquid little bright spot ye old generic liquid with glitter what can I say so I've got my little bright spots, and I've got a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes. I'll get to the rest of the mascara in a minute. Put on my eye liner. And 
Let me see. I'll give my mug a little spritz first. Right across the eyes. Yeah, that medium yellow is definitely not holding up against the blues. Oh well. Yep, if I'm doing eyeliner, my mouth is hanging. Or I'm making funny faces. Don't ask me why, it just always has been. That is the way of things. Okay. Eyeliner on. Yes, I have all kinds of little things going on here. Spots and bumps and strangenesses. Thing over here. I'm having a breakout. It is what it is. Excuse me, burp squad. My honey bunny is currently working on some of our cooking projects while I'm doing this. Yesterday, we went to a house in our neighborhood, well, on the far side of the neighborhood, where they have much larger yards and one of the houses has, and I mean, this is a big old tree. Big old tree. We couldn't have wrapped our arms around and touched around the base of this tree. And this big old tree was full of apricots. Now, like a lot of other things that have happened during this summer, the apricots were only like that. But, oh my goodness, they taste good. It's like our garden, our backyard garden, that was supposed to be giving me things like Roma tomatoes and, and Sweet 100s and Early Girls for slicing. It was not a good growing season for anybody. Anything that anybody got, it was undersized. We have been back and forth with the weather so much, it's not surprising. Now, this is Lord and Berry. It's a um, pencil that I got in one of the Ipsy bags. And it's, it's called 2100 Maximize Crayon Lipstick. One that I really like. And then this is a, this is Kiss and Smink which came in an Ipsy.
Yeah, the color is called Tawarua. Hey! Rude word. Yeah, my grandson doesn't always understand what he's saying, but if he's heard a word, he will repeat it at random points. I'll try to remember to bleep that one. We'll see if I remember. Anyway, the kiss and smink is basically, you know, brownie neutral. So I put the, the berry on. The Maximate, which has got kind of a berry to it. And then I put the kiss and smink on and just kind of let it roll and then I take my magnetic lashes and set them right there I'm going to have to get some new ones. About I, It's like I've already worn out the really short ones that fit behind my glasses really, really well. I'm on to the mediums. And, you know, it's like you've got the medium and then you've got these really long honkers. So... I'm currently working on the mediums. They do not work behind my glasses. They keep brushing the glasses, which is really annoying. Have a little powder in there. Give my highlight another kind of boost. Okay, the blush and bronzer is Pacifica. The highlight is a Nomad that I got from Ipsy. All of the, most of the stuff over here is Ipsy's. Um, I'm using a cream stick from a brand I don't currently support, but I've got it. I'm going to use it. little Maybelline face powder. CoverGirl mascara. I don't remember the brand on the eyelashes. Anyway, there's a look. I'm not sure it's the greatest look, but there's a look. Now, tell me what you think. No, really, tell me what. Please, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, it's free, and it makes me very happy. Today, I am 62. I've earned all these wrinkles and what gray hair is left in what, what hair I have. See, see, there's some gray right there, right there. 
yes, I keep cutting my hair off because with some of my autoimmune issues, it's getting so thin and so fine that even if I let my hair grow, I would really end up needing probably a wig so you wouldn't be seeing my scalp. So I cut it off and probably for the fall and winter, I might have a wig or two. I'm not really big on, on wearing head cover during the summer, only because I sweat. And it's like even putting a hat on in the summer is difficult, even though I need to because of the sun issues with the autoimmune. Yeah, sunlight is not the best thing for people with certain autoimmune issues. So, now, remember, Black Lives yes, Matter. Was that? Remember, my grandson is noisy. Remember, my granddaughter is sitting over here. Well, the youngest of the granddaughters. You can say something if you, they can't see you wave, girly. Hi. And remember, I don't have bail money. Be good. Wear your mask. Keep your distance. Wash your hands. Stay safe. See you next time.